It's a goal okay. already! Look at that. Oh no. No! No! How's it going and welcome back to the vlog channel. I don't know whether it's just me But when it gets to this time of year when it's around Christmas, I get so tired I literally have struggled to get out of bed for like the last week uh, I think I've been getting up at average about 10 a.m. to half 10 which is not not the best But it is Christmas week, so I'm kind of like you know what I deserve a little bit of a rest this morning I've been preparing a couple of packages. We've got some bar sets going out. It honestly makes me so happy to just see the amazing response we've had from the bar and pod. So we put so much work and effort into it. And it's only, ah, I've got something in my eye. Ow. So you just hate that in mid conversation, you get something in your bloody eye. What is it? Ow. What is in my eye? Man down. We've got only one eye that's working. We're actually working on some new flavors of pods at the moment, uh, which has been highly requested from you guys. Um, we are looking at flavors such as watermelon, guava, lychee, mango, apricot. There's a lot of exotic flavors that we're working on and that will be launching sometime in the new year. Now, if you guys didn't know, I am a big watch fan. I've been collecting watches for the last like five years now and I have stumbled upon a collection which I'm literally obsessed with. It's been like a massively hyped collaboration, um, but I've started buying them and my aim is to get every one of them but they're incredibly hard to get. It's the Amiga and Swatch collaboration, the Moon Swatch, and they just look really cool. So at the moment I've got the Sun, I've got Mars, and I've got Venus, but my aim is to get all of them, and there's 11, so I'm still quite far away from that. Firstly, they're 230 pounds, so, you know, for, for an Amiga collaboration, like, that's, that's pretty good. So this is the Sun, ready? Whoa, is that the wrong way around? No, there we are. That's the sun. So it's a yellow one with a white strap and it's kind of like it, it is like a plastic watch. It feels like a plastic watch, but I just think they look awesome. Like, let me let me focus on that. Like, look at that. It's really cool. And what I've done is for the Mars one, I've actually bought another strap. So I have bought um, a black, you'll see, I have bought a black strap for it. Look at that with a black strap. Just looks decent, just looks decent, because nowadays as well, you can't, you can't even walk around with expensive watches because there's just such bad crime rate. Um, so I feel like these are like the best thing at the moment and they've been so hyped, like everyone has wanted one. Like every day I go to the store to try and see if they've got any stock and like they basically never have stock. This is Venus, so this is the pink. There we are. And I think with like a black strap, I think it could look really cool. I'm not the biggest fan of like the white like Velcro strap. I feel like you're at school, like you've got some Velcro shoes on. But um, it's cool that you can kind of like up upgrade it with, um, you know, different straps and it's really, really easy to, to install. So this is my recent uh, obsession and hobby. I've been sent a gumball machine. I've never had a gumball machine before. But I'm excited to have one. I'm just, I'm probably gonna be eating it all the time though, and that's the issue. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose my teeth. Oh no. All the balls have fallen out. Oh no. Oh no, we've got some balls there. They're gonna, they're gonna be everywhere. When I take this out, this is gonna go absolutely everywhere. I don't know how we're gonna do this. Maybe I'll lie it down. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, they're all coming out! Okay, okay, okay. I don't. Not that meant. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're everywhere. No! I want to eat them. We've literally got balls going everywhere. Where's the box? Ah. Ah, oh, no! 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 Oh my god, this is not ideal. Right, okay, we've still got loads. Oh no! <gasps> it's broken! It's broken! The glass is smashed! Oh no! Oh no, my ball machine! No! Oh my god. This is such a bad day. Look, you can see the glass. Oh no. Oh, it's broken. I'm so upset. I've literally just been looking at this for a good couple of minutes, determining 
if it's salvageable. Let's see if we can kind of get it upright. No! Oh! I have a coin. The coin goes in. The coin doesn't fit. <laughs> okay. Um, they're all, they're all two pence pieces and they don't fit. James is here everyone. Yeah. He's arrived. We've just had some lunch. I'm back. Bit of lunch. I've got a sweet corn soup. Now James just asked me, he, he said, oh wow, that's, that's a nice tree. I really like that. And um, then he goes, what, so do you, do you buy one every year then? Where else are you going to put it? What's it's the what? Fit in a cupboard, is it? What? So we we're gonna buy a fake Christmas tree to then get rid of it? Well, well it's not gonna fit in any of the cupboards, is it? Well, we're gonna put it in like a storage place. Why would we buy a fake tree that lasts for like How... twenty years and then go? You know what? We're gonna throw it in the bin and get an, get another fake one. It only costs that five pound, don't they? The disposable ones. That was three hundred. Uh, all right, yeah, maybe not then. <laughs> You make me laugh. I've never met anyone that comes out with some of the stuff that you do. And that's what makes you unique. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna play a little game here. This video is gonna be made for TikTok. So if you guys aren't on the TikTok, then make sure you go follow at Ollie White and you'll see this game. What game are we playing, James? You, got you know what game I we're playing. I don't know what it's called, but you've got to ping the ball onto the bread. And we're doing it like noughts and crosses. Yeah, so we've got ping pong balls each. We will have to bounce them on the table and they have to land on one of these peanut buttered so slices of bread. Basically noughts and crosses, but with this and this. Yeah, exactly. And we're going to be playing noughts and crosses with it as well. So, without further ado, should we get going? Yeah. Let's go. Absolutely grim. I don't, I don't, <laughs> no, I don't know how I'll do it. Do you think anyone could lick it? No, don't put that flint foot in my mouth in my brain. What about licking peanut oh, butter? Oh, okay. Does it looks like poo? Yes, it looks oh, okay. like someone's if she had explosive diarrhea. <laughs> it is quite shiny, isn't it? Right, let's go. Okay. It's actually poo. I'll go first. Right, ready? Oh! We are possibly playing the most intense game of um, of Rocket League Grigley's right now. Oh God, Grigley! Oh my God! Hold on! Hold on! What do you mean you're going? Where, where are you going? Where? To get the ball to okay. win. We have right. You go. You go. You go. Yes, that's in. That's in. That's in. That's in. It's a goal already! No way! It's a goal already! I can't believe they didn't even see that. Look, goal already. Look, James smashes it. Boom! Pro gamer. Four seconds. What do you have to say about that Four one? Four seconds, that's all I've got to say. <laughs> we just lost. When we should have won! Sweaty goals. Sweaty gamers we call them, don't we, James? Any, anyone that is actually relatively good at any game, they're sweaty. They are so sweaty. I'll tell you what, they are really sweaty. Well, so when you honestly just have... Spend 24 seven days a week, 56 weeks a year. No, 52. There's 52. <laughs> so when you're when you're um, really good at a game, are you sweaty then? No, I'm just naturally talented. Right. So only people that are really good are sweaty, but you. Yeah, you're... I'm just naturally gifted. Right. We're playing again. Rematch. Let's go. Oh, look at this goal, Penguin boy. Oh my God, top bins. What day is it tomorrow? Saturday. It's, it's it's Christmas Eve, but it, it is Saturday. You are you are you are correct. It is Saturday, but it's Christmas Eve tomorrow. So yes, Santa will be here soon. Let's hope you've been a good lad. Do you think he's given you many presents this year, old boy? Probably not. 
Probably not. What, when did you find out about Santa Claus? Oh, actually, I don't know. When I was like four. He's still real, technically. Makes sense. Four? I think it was when you were about 16. No. <laughs> Easily before what? I was 10. There's no way. No way. I think you were about 12 or 13. No, because I deaf for a few times. Deaf for her dad going downstairs a few times. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in a bit. Bye. Woo!